Yeah, very pleased. I think in a month when we had a lot of good results, a lot of good uh, individual but also team performances, uh, you know, near on faultless month in the league. Um, so yeah, really happy to uh, to win that award. It means the world. I think everybody who voted um, can obviously see what what we're trying to do in terms of not just me but as a team. And uh, obviously without the team, you can't you can't perform. So everybody pulling together in the right direction and, and being consistent is. Uh, Something that the manager wants, and uh, <laughs> something that the manager wants, um, and you know, we're all enjoying it at the minute, and we want to, you know, it's a new month now, we want to carry that on as as, as long as we can till the end of the season. You got the match winner on Saturday. How pleased were you with that one? Yeah, really good. Probably, if I'm being a bit critical of myself, could have had a probably had an even better chance to, to score two. Um, but yeah, happy to get the winner. We managed to see the game out and stuff, so uh, yeah, happy days. Everybody who's, who watched it back keeps saying, how did you pop up there? But um, yeah, good play from Josh to get down the side initially and just followed the pass inside and, and Jaden managed to squeeze it across to me and um, I had a good first touch which, which made the finish a little bit easier. Um, I don't think the keeper knew which way I was going to put it. So yeah, luckily um, managed to put it in. You mentioned Jaden as well there. How pleased were you for him to come in and, and put in a performance like that? Obviously, it shows that everybody's ready to come in and do a job for the team when, when called upon. Yeah, I think he epitomises what the manager wants in terms of the squad. You know, there's a lot of games, there's been a lot of games, and um, for him to come in and, and perform and, and uh, put in a good shift for the lads, it's, it's what we all want. Um, yeah, it just shows you've got to be ready because you never know when your chance might come. So, yeah, dead, dead pleased for him and. Uh, and you know anybody that's not in the squad, they know they need to be ready for when called upon. You've got to be happy with the amount of goals you've scored this season. Your best, your best by by far. Yeah, and um, started off well, and obviously I've been in the back three um, for most of the season. Um, but yeah, a bit further forward last few games, which is nice. Uh, would have been on more if Smudge had not, you know, nicked one off me. But um, yeah, hopefully a couple more between now and the end of the season that'd be nice. But um, yeah, happy with the total so far. 380 games now as well, as well. That, that that record creeping towards the top 15 what, what's that mean to you I mean obviously keeping keeping an eye on that yeah some really good names on there I, you know um, hopefully you know I get a chance to do that between now and the end of the season and uh, yeah just keep knocking them off the perch really um, but no I think you don't really look at them things until you get you know what am I now sort of 12 years down the line and you know, we broke a few records this last month, just gone, and to break a personal one like that with the appearances would be fantastic. As you say, some big names up there, only four off the likes of Ron Springer. What does it mean to you as a, as a Wednesday fan to be up there with these, these massive names? Yeah, it's amazing. I think it um, just shows as well what, where you need to be in terms of the level of consistency, not to only play, but um, to reach that number. And uh, it's not just you know one or two seasons, it's over a long period of time. That's something I've been able to do. That's something that I really pride myself on. Is is you know, putting in 100% effort in every game, and uh, I think being versatile in what position I can play has definitely helped. Um, you know, I get a lot of people saying, "Where do you prefer to play?" And especially when I go to my coaching school and they're asking, "I want to play Cam or I want to play CDM," but I always say to them, "Just play as many positions as you can whilst you're young." And uh, even if it's just to understand that position, and you never know when you might need to play there. So. And the rest of the lads are in the history books now as well, 20 games unbeaten, that's another club record. What does it mean to everybody in there? Yeah, and it's that mentality, it's a bit cliche, but that one game at a time, and that's something that we'll continue to do. Um, we want to extend that record as long as possible. Um, and yeah, we'll look to do that on, on Saturday. 19 clean sheets as well from, from 32. Not only have we we beaten that record, there's still 14 games if there's a real chance to, to put a marker down and make it unbeatable for future teams. Yeah, amazing, amazing record. Obviously, being a defender as well, I think I've played in all but one of them games. Um, so again, that's something that um, I'm really proud of. But you've seen a lot of change across the back three, the back five, um, and whoever's come in, especially in the goalkeepers as well, have followed followed on from you know seamlessly from the ones that's been there before. So not only that, I've spoke before about you know the strikers work hard, doing a lot of running especially if they're up against the back three, you know, keeping them quiet and stopping them advancing with the ball. So it's a real team effort and uh, something that, yeah, like you say, we can extend and hopefully look back and, and be really proud on come the end of the season. Tough test on Saturday with, with Peterborough coming to Hillsborough, one of the few teams to, to, to beat us this season. Yeah, that was obviously early on in the season and, and went down to 10 men in that game. So that's something that we'll look to put right, definitely. Um, they obviously came down from the Championship last year, so they've got a good uh, you know, quality, quality of player. 
but so have we and I think from them we're, we're a completely different team, we've overcome a lot of um, hurdles and, and, and we're more set in how we want to play and, and um, yeah it'll be a good game but again we're at Hillsborough and um, you know the fans have been brilliant last, well all season really but the last three or four months especially down there and um, yeah we've got a really proud record and something that we want to keep, keep on definitely.